a live video. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Fridays. Um, I hope you're all really, really well. I think um, I just wanted to give you a, a, a Friday case that um, I, it's really important because you guys might remember Max and Snowy. Um, we, uh, I was out at pet resorts when they were out there. Um, and my friend Snowy, 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 don't be shy. Don't be shy. These guys have just had an amazing groom today by Mariko, Amy and the team. And they're just, they look unbelievable. Um, especially that buffet there. But um, Snowy has had a massive surgery two weeks ago. Um, and you can see that he's been a bit clipped. And what I want to show you is this x-ray. Um, this x-ray is his stomach. And you'll see that the stomach is just completely round. Um, and the stomach really should occupy just this little section up here. So really just in there, but it's all full of gas. And you can see there's, there's also gas right through his colon. Snowy had a twisted stomach um, last week. And, um, and if it wasn't for the very quick thinking of um, my wonderful team on Sunday morning, um, Dr. Afir and Dr. Nikki, um, he wouldn't actually still be with us. Um, Snowy had a twisted stomach. It's called a gastric dilation volvulus or a GDV. And um, the good news is that uh, between Nikki and Afia, they were actually able to uh, resolve, the, resolve the issue almost instantaneously. Um, albeit he was in surgery for about three hours um, and he's still having effects of vomiting and diarrhea now, um, but he's a whole lot better. And as you can see, I mean, look, he looks like a million dollars compared to what could have happened. But the main reason why I want to show you this x-ray and why I want to actually tell you what's happening is that we can fix this, um, or at least we can prevent it, by doing a prophylactic gastropexy. Um, at, the, at six months of age, um, we can take these large breed dogs, so dogs that are more than 25 kilos with big, deep chests, and what we can actually do is pexy by keyhole surgery, so they only have a couple of very small incisions, we can actually pexy the stomach and stick the stomach to the abdominal wall, which completely completely 100% can prevent the, um, the twisting of the stomach, which puts dogs at risk. Large breed dogs, especially Great Danes, Golden Retrievers, Rottweilers, but then any other breed can potentially have this problem. And so um, just a, a little sort of something to learn from this is that Snowy was a lucky one that we were able to get. It happened probably at about seven o'clock in the morning. The owners realized by about nine o'clock um, and then we were able to, to do surgery literally on at 10 o'clock on the dot. Um, and so within three hours and if it was another hour or so, the dog probably would have passed away. So um, we're not always that accessible. The emergency services aren't always geared up to do an emergency surgery and often have to call people in. So um, something that I, uh, I, I think you, should, you, you, you need to all pass around, especially with deep-chested dogs. It can be done by itself or it can be done at desexing. Um, Denise, thanks for joining me um, and um, thanks for the messages. Uh, and luckily, Denise only has little five kilo dogs. It is unnecessary in small dogs. Just to remind you, it is completely unnecessary that, you, that small dogs need to have this surgery, but any large breed dog greater than 25 kilos that has a big deep chest should have, or at least should consider having a prophylactic gastropexy to prevent this from happening. Happy Friday, have an amazing weekend. Any problems, you know we're here, you know where to find us, bye now.